Hi, this is Sean D'Souza, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation Podcast. This podcast isn't some magic trick about how to work less. Instead, it's about how to really enjoy the work that you do and to enjoy your vacation time. Hi, it's Sean, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation. If I said the word boomerang, which country would you think of? Not Poland, would you? And yet the oldest boomerang in the world is not from Australia, but it's Polish, 23,000-year-old boomerang. And get this, the boomerang doesn't come back. It goes one way. It was used as a method to stun animals, and it didn't need to come back. It needed to go in one direction. And that's kind of how I approach learning these days. And we'll go back to how I used to. But people often ask me, how do you approach learning? How do you read so many books? How do you do so many courses? And let's just settle this once and for all with this podcast. The first is the one-sided thing, which is you go in one direction and you don't come back. And the second part is where I come back. What am I talking about? Let's find out. And let's use the analogy of the boomerang. Like everyone, I will buy many courses, many books, many products. And often the problem is that you don't finish any of them. You start off with good intentions, but then you don't finish any of them. And this frustrated me for a long time because I felt I was always overwhelmed, always trying to keep up, until I realized I just had to go one way. And that is go from start to finish. Now you think, wait a second, that's what everybody's trying to do. Nobody's willingly abandoning a course or a product or a book. It just so happens that we get distracted or there's another book or another course. But here's the thing. The reason why we get stuck is because we start making notes. We start thinking of implementation and you think, well, that's a good thing. And it is a good thing. You bought the course or you're reading the book so that you can do something with it. However, that strategy worked really well when we didn't have this volume of information. Now that we do, we need a one-sided boomerang or a one-way boomerang. What does that mean? So what I do is I start listening to, say, a course on Masterclass, and then I will go from start to finish. Every day when I come back from my walk, I get the tavas hot because I'm making a dosa. So those are the pans. I get them hot, and then I put on Masterclass. And then I keep watching it, and I don't make any notes, and I watch it from one end to the other. So every day, and then it might take a couple of weeks, and I'm done with the course. And here's the first reason why that is important. And it's the most obvious reason of all. You've completed it. In a world where so many things are incomplete, where we have so many to-do lists, you've completed it. And that alone is a victory of sorts. I had a book, for instance, called Anarchy. It's written by my favorite author, William Dalrymple. And it's a history book. It's about the whole East India Company coming into India and taking over the country. We think of it as the British coming to India, but really it was the East India Company. I think it's about 600 pages, that book. And I wasn't completing it. So again, you go from start to finish, and then you complete it. And last night, I was done. I was surprised that I was done, but I was done. So the first thing is just completion. But there is a second aspect to it, especially when it comes to anything to do with business, for instance. Let's say you're doing a course on storytelling. Now, as you're progressing, you think, wait a second, this is really interesting. I should make notes. I should look at how I can implement it. And most of the time, that's what we do. But if you just go from one end to the other, what you find is you get an understanding of the ending which is to say an author, a creator of a product or a course, they're actually going through a journey when they create their course. And when they reach the end, it's almost like they have to move things around so everything works. The author himself or herself is going to put that whole document together, that whole course together, 
and that gives you a bird's eye view of what it's all about. My strategy is to go through chapter by chapter and then mark out the chapters that really I struggle with or I want to read more. And sometimes I'll go back several times to those chapters, but I will do that on the second turn. So I will go from start to finish, get my little check mark, and I'm really happy. But now I will go to chapter three, and then I can afford to get stuck. I might read chapter three five times. I might watch a video 16 times. I've done that with Dan Brown's course. In one of the chapters, he talks about villains and heroes, and I love that one. I keep going back. I understand the concept, but somehow it's more interesting to me, so I keep going back to that. And in this way, we're kind of now acting as a returning boomerang, which the Aborigines use, but mostly for sport. And that is, we come back. We go in one direction, but then we come back. And that is beautiful, because you can go back to the bits that are really important to you, or the bits that were very difficult, or just something you need some clarification about. And you can go back and then focus on those bits. Yes, this was a short podcast, but it's something that I wanted to get across to you very quickly because the question keeps coming up. How do you learn so quickly? How do you read so much stuff? How do you complete so much stuff? And it's the two boomerang principle. You throw a boomerang in one direction, which is you go from one end to the other, get a whole overview of it, and then come back to the bits that are interesting or need work. And that's been my strategy. Use it and see how it works for you. Let's find out what's happening in Psychotactics land. If you wanted to learn how to write copy, which is to write a sales page so that you can sell your product or service, and you don't want to have to pay hefty fees to copywriters, there's a copywriting course, which we call a sales page course, which we also call a landing page course, just to create confusion. But that's what it is on the 27th of February. Yes, the last day of February. So that's 27th of February. You have to go to psychotactics.com slash landing pages and you get a whole bunch of goodies. And about the course itself, you get a system that starts from the bottom up. Most people write a sales page from the top down and it takes ages to do so. So I had to work out a system where we can go from the bottom up and speed it up so that we could finish a sales page in three days. So that's what the course teaches you. There's a home study version of it and there is a live version. The live version will be conducted through a forum as we always do with every Psychotactics course. So go to psychotactics.com slash landing pages. The home study of the article writing course is also going to show up, but that's on the 10th of April. So if you want to go there then go to psychotactics.com slash aw goodies that's aw for article writing goodies and you'll be on that list now you have to be on the list on that waiting list because otherwise you won't get a notification it's that simple and as usual 5000 bc members get preference they get a first crack at everything and they get a whole bunch of free stuff as well so consider joining us in 5000 bc it's a place that is very safe and we have this motto, which is be kind, be helpful, or be gone. And that's 5000 BC for you. Okay, I'll say bye for now. And notice something. You've come to the end of this podcast. Check mark. Still listening? When we started out with the website, I was influenced by the book Good to Great and Jim Collins, who said he read 100 books. And that is how I started reading 100 books. I thought, well, if he has the time and he's a famous author, then I should read 100 books as well. And now I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I still read a lot, but I don't read 100 books a year. I probably don't get through even 10 books a year. Part of the reason is we have so much media. I watch hundreds of videos every year, which I didn't do back then. 
and there is stuff on the Kindle and then the iPad, and they might not be books, they might be reports, so there might be so many other things that you're listening to, like podcasts. And all of this activity makes us feel bad, even though it's not trying to do so. But somewhere on the website, there is still some information that says, I read 100 books a year. It's not true. It's not been true for many, many years. And that's it from Psychotactics Land. I'll see you in 5000 BC. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.